within the last mile, he knows, and you can see here, he's actually gaining. He's going to make that left-hand turn and head down to the finish line pretty soon, come across the bridge. And he's home free, as we say. He, he doesn't have to worry. He probably doesn't even look around anymore as he goes around a corner. He, he knows he's he's got it. Well, we got hundreds and hundreds of runners going by. Are you shocked, Frank, about how this mini marathon has grown? <sighs> You know, it's fun to see, isn't yeah, it? To watch you the know, growth of this it, thing? shocked isn't the right word, but yeah. when we were running back, you know, Richard Luger, that, that yes. wonderful man who helped yes. start the mini, when, uh, he was he was mayor of, of Indianapolis at the time, and people, a little history for people who don't know, he was one of the original runners in Washington. They yeah. had a group of runners in Washington, and Senator Luger became one of the driving forces there. And you know, to, it, we had no idea it was going to develop into something like this, but that's what makes it all the better. It wasn't mad. Madison Avenue. It wasn't some sort of contrived, con contrived promotion platform. Yeah. And and so here we are. You just let it be what it is. And this is what it is. And they've got the sound system cranked up. Everybody having a good time as we watch the elite runner. We'll get his name and we'll go live to the uh, finish line coming up in a minute to catch that. As uh, we just continue to watch people pounding the yard of bricks right now. And as you mentioned, it's great that this rain has pass through. I think we're going to be good to the finish here. Oh, yeah. There's blue up there. You can yeah. see it, Indianapolis. It, yeah. it exists. <laughs> and as an elite runner, though, these conditions, we talked about this earlier, th these are pretty ideal, aren't they? Yeah. My hands are cold standing here, which means it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. And and everybody, y you can see the way they're dressed. I mean, it, it, no one's suffering out there. They're having a good time. Oh, baby! We, we just, had, we just had someone shirtless going by, but he's just showing off. He's having a good time. Having a good time here at the One American Mini Marathon. Temperature about 49 degrees and uh, really looking pretty good right now at 837 as we watch for that elite runner to make his way to the finish line downtown Indianapolis. And again, just a beautiful scene. And as you mentioned, young, old out here having fun and I think people are getting a kick out my, of seeing Frank Shorter, <laughs> two-time Olympian here and the finish line. Does this bring back a lot of memories for you? Yeah, oh, absolutely it does. It, it, it really does. It, uh, it, because the Mini was really one of the first, and again, because of Richard Luger and yeah. the running community here, it was one of the first cities to recognize running. Yeah. And so for me, it's it just, and the fact that we're all loyal. And yeah. this event has been so loyal to me over the years, enabling me to come back and compete and now yeah. do the TV. I yeah. just, I have a great time. And I should, I should mention this real quickly. Well, let's go back to, uh, oh, we got another finisher I'm being told right now. We're watching now live. And we're going to go now to the finish for the elite runner. Is that what we're doing? Yeah, here we go, right at the finish line. And I here we go. And here's the finish line. We have a winner. Oh, my goodness. How's the time look? It was good. I have on my watch 103.49. So he, he he had a good day. Fantastic. So now we're going to go uh, to the uh, finish line. And we're watching it. This, this feeling right here when you finally get there, Frank. Yeah, you go. <laughs> a lot of work goes yeah, into but, that. But it's a better feeling. And <laughs> the marathon is the one where you get through the line and you're really, really happy. Half marathon, it, it, it's not so much. It, it doesn't take as much out of you. And just to sort of bring it back to the personal story, half marathon, he'll be okay in three or four days. He can get back into his training. The, the marathon, but this is the stepping stone. This is the stepping stone to the marathon.